everybody. Uh, I guess it's time for a new episode of what's happening with me. Uh, I'm in the area of Haines City, Florida. I just finished dropping my loaded trailer in our drop yard a few miles behind me. I am now dead heading up to Umatilla or Umatilla to pick up a Florida natural growers load or Florida natural citrus, whatever you want to call it. Um, that picks up this afternoon at 2. Should have just enough time to get there right when I want to be there, which is about an hour before my appointment time. And then uh, the load's going to Monroe, Georgia, but now it's got a lot of time on it. It's not due until the 31st and the end in the afternoon. So uh, that's the only downfall about it. I have a couple of days of, uh, a couple of nights where I'm going to get my two and three hour recaps back anyway, and I doubt there's a heck of a lot uh, that I can, uh, that I can work with, or, you know, well, I'm sure they have something that can keep me moving, but at the same time, the amount of time on this load, I'm going to get a 34 hour reset in, I believe, before I deliver, unless... Unless I need help uh, rescuing a, a load or something, who knows? See how it goes, though. Anyway, I'm northbound on you. Remember having that? It was good. No, oh, no, that was Oklahoma City. I'm thinking of. Yeah, a place down the street from one of the. Hotels I used to sometimes stay at over there when I do uh, conferences when I was in the Air Force. Uh, we do conferences at a, a convention center right there off of uh, on the west west side of Oklahoma City at uh, Meridian Avenue, which is the same street that goes right to the airport. Um, what was it? it just. A little bit south of 540, if I remember right, and then just west of Meridian, there was a there's a restaurant over there. I think that's the one where I'm sticking up. I think it's called Trappers or something. Yeah, interesting place to eat at. They had a they have a lot of uh, that wildlife that had been you know, killed by hunters, you know, mounted to the walls and stuff. Uh, and they even have like a Aquarium, yeah, like an aquarium thing in there with uh, like live uh, uh, young uh, juvenile uh, alligator in it. Now this street here takes a little bit of patience to deal with because there are a lot of traffic lights pretty much all the way up to uh, the turnpike. Of course, I won't actually be getting on the turnpike. I'll just be paralleling it for a few miles, or even that, and then turning up a state highway. Just in case my, my uh, dash cam is still giving erroneous dates, which it has been doing recently. Uh, today is the 29th of October, 2019, and it's about you know, just after 11:45 a.m. local time. Load is going to the Walmart distribution center in Monroe, Georgia, which is northeast of Atlanta. It's kind of off the beaten path. It's not on an interstate. I've been there a couple times before. Picking up only a um, 
400 mile load well 500 total with the uh, deadhead no fuel needed yeah right now I'll be almost empty by the time I get up there so I may get at least about 50 50 gallons of fuel or so um, now, once I get into Georgia, I think the fuel will be a little cheaper in Georgia than it will be here. to deal with. It's about a 65 mile trip from our yard to the shipper. And I've probably done a little more than five. Or actually, no, I've done about 11. So I, I remember yeah, I reset my trip meter on the, you know, just after leaving there. So should be about 50 plus miles away. over the dump truck enough to know what's coming up ahead you know, as far as lights or light status and again I can always come over here to the left lane yeah, I thought that was a regular dump truck at first it's a it's actually a tractor pulling a dump trailer pre-planning the light. I just didn't want to cut in front of him and make it more difficult on him so I was a little reluctant to move over at first until I saw him backing off quite a bit. Right, we're in the Four Corners area right now. Polo Park Boulevard. Polo Park East Boulevard. plus the restrictive active community. Right. We're going to pass US 192 eastbound now, which goes back over toward Orlando. Lake County from Polk County. Now, Prom 
probably be out of hours by the time I get the load picked up, but you know, the important thing will be get it picked up and then look at uh, finding a place to PC to or you know, if that's what it comes down to. Thinking maybe the, the service plaza on the turnpike or something, but I don't know if I'm gonna, how much time I'm gonna have left. Or yeah, the, the load could, you know, might not even be ready by the time I get there. For all I know, we'll see. But if it is ready, I don't think I'll have time left on my clock, and I'll probably have to find a place to head back to. Or to, uh, to shut down that. Then run the, the 400 miles up uh, maybe maybe later tonight, early tomorrow. Crossings Boulevard. Tailgate the guy in front of you. Uh, I wasn't gonna try to work over, but that GMC there kind of suddenly came in from the left lane and got a truck in the middle lane that I don't want to cut off. Need to worry. It's no doubt that I'm going to be there on time uh, before my appointment time. I can get stopped at about every light here on the way up there, and I'll still probably be on time. I just hopefully uh, I'm hoping to not burn excessive time though. Yeah, no, this is what I have. This yeah, I'm not going to sit here behind these RVs. going on here Florida drivers are about as bad as California drivers are maybe not quite as bad but they're they're pretty bad although some of these especially this time of year it's a pretty good chance these guys are just snowbirds who don't even live here uh, I can't read that guy's temporary plate on his trailer and the plate on his truck is obscured by the trailer Chase. Park five miles. Yeah, I'll be passing by that. 
Horn Street. It's weird, all these homes and uh, over here on the left side in the backyard, they're the porches are covered by like these weird uh, screen, uh, like, I don't know, they're supposed to be like greenhouse screens or something, or, uh, or just, I don't know, some kind of bug proof thing or whatever to, people can hang out on their porch or whatever, and not have all the, uh, all the critters flying around them or whatever. About every single house had them too, so I'm guessing the neighborhood is built with them. Margot Drive, Sawgrass Bay Boulevard, Sienna Ridge, and Sawgrass Bay neighborhoods. the lake here in a couple minutes. KB Homes, mid-200s. Superior Boulevard. time going to this particular shipper uh, I know we do a lot of loads a decent number of loads out of there uh, pretty common or I've seen some of our other drivers post about being there uh, in our Facebook group uh, our company Facebook group I should say well, that's the first time for me uh, every time I come down here I'm always picking up at the the Florida Natural Facility in Lake Wells, which is down on the other end of 27, basically uh, goes south from our drop yard instead of north, and it's uh, on the, well, the shipping office is on the right side, of, uh, or on the west side of 27. It's either there or I pick up at the Coca-Cola plant in Auburndale. Auburndale is, uh, now you're going to, this next plumbing guy, I've been gaining on him and now I'm just all of a sudden seeming like I'm not gaining on him. Bumped up my speed just a mile an hour to kind of help. Yeah, see this guy seems to be varying his speed. I'm doing 57 and uh, now 58. Turn 
like 15 miles away. State Park entrance, 1,500 feet. And uh, every time I come to Florida, I end up picking up at the Coca-Cola plant in Auburndale, uh, which is west of our yard. If you go um, uh, I'm forgetting the name of the town there. Uh, Lake, oh, Hayden City. Now, our, our drop yard's at Davenport, right there along Highway 27. You go south from there into Hayden City, and there's a uh, that US 17, I think, and US 92 or whatever. I get 92 and 98 mixed up. They both go through that general area. When you go west on there, and that'll take you into the town of Auburndale, and over in that area is where the Coca Cola plant is. Yeah, that's usually like citrus beverages. Now that I'm back on my uh, my previous dispatcher's board, I probably get a little more variety in uh, the loads that I do, and not necessarily uh, so much do the, the California to Midwest and Midwest right back to California kind of stuff like I've been doing over the last couple months. I don't mind that at all. You know, at the same time, I don't mind getting uh, like exploring or whatever either. But, yeah, you know, I do get a little spoiled going home all the time. All right, North Bradshaw Road's where I'm passing now. And I bet you this car is going to make the lake turn red on me. Lake Louisa Road. Uh, okay, maybe not. Yeah, this Volvo is gradually catching up on me. in the Clermont and Mineola area. I do have a guy in my TSP group who lives in, the, I think works in this area or something. And I don't really have time to, I mean, I think he's busy working anyway. Delago and Hartwood Marsh. Hancock Park, East Ridge High School. Walgreens, CVS, Publix, and a lot of pharmacies here. Yeah, they don't cater a lot to uh, elderly people here, do they? Florida is a, uh, pretty much a haven for retirees, so can't say that surprises at all. Vistas and Lake Louisa. It's the name of the neighborhood on my left side. another hour or so. Well, maybe not that long. Yeah, probably maybe an hour. Because I think I'm about 40, still right around 40 miles out if I'm not mistaken. And it does look like I can expect some some delays over in the Tavares area.
50 coming up, one mile ahead. Three quarter or one mile, depending on which direction. Sky zone, what is that? Is that like an indoor skydiving thing or something? FCC Alive, FCC Live. I assume that's a church. Yeah, Family Christian Center, okay. I've got a school there too. I feel like getting out of the car, out of the truck and grabbing that guy's uh, cigarette and tell him, then shove it in his face. You know, if you want to smoke, that's fine, but don't be dropping your cigarettes out, out the window. You do that where I live, you can start a wildfire. And even if it's even if it's not a much of a fire hazard, it's have some freaking respect for others. You know why should someone else have to pick your damn mess up? Don't be a pig. Find a proper place for it. It's not that hard. I 
just came through here on the way down with my loaded my other trailer uh, the one that I picked up in California
3.18 local time now. West Mineola Street. And about to cross North Main and Education Avenue. Everybody. 
everybody up and everybody's content to stay there. So makes me think they're going to be turning right onto uh, all these roads before long. Oh shit, since you guys are going to keep running interference, I'll just go ahead and go around you guys. Section should be Highway 19. There does appear to be a, um, a ramp to the toll, uh, the turnpike there also, so that's certain that that's going to be where I'll be turning. Honey Pot Eatery, all you can eat chicken dinner. Restaurant open to the public. Like an RV plane, like a campground. Alright, Junction Highway 19.
sell five and a half acres of land. That stupid Qualcomm unit just shut down again. I'll be happy when that problem gets fixed. Even more happy if they get rid of that stupid five mile an hour trigger for my ELD. Shouldn't be, I uh, shouldn't have to use drive mode uh, driving through a parking lot. I shouldn't have to do yard mode or burn PC time doing it either. On Verde. On Verde. The Spanish language, uh, well, that's, uh, on Verde, no, that's, uh, that's probably French. I don't know how French language rules work, but the County Road 455 passing now. In Spanish, the letter V as in Victor is actually pronounced like a B as in Bravo.
general that are pretty decent, uh, somewhat decent looking, and others that are uh, definitely older. Uh, 40 miles an hour, and then right up here on the left curve is where I'm expecting to find my, my turn. Cypress Avenue, Levin's Patriot Park, the Magnolia Avenue, things on some of these uh, utility towers or utility poles I'm guessing that's to keep pigeons and other birds from roosting on them
Lake Idamere Park. What is this? On C2 Emergency Response. Inland Towing and Recovery. Fisherman's Cove. Interesting. Alright, what's this up here? And a lot of states are doing the, you know, with the, the temporary license plates like this car in front of me. So I know California just made a law to requiring dealers to do that. Uh, at the same time, I've been noticing all the other states seem to be doing the same thing. I'm wondering who, who started that. golf cart. Are you kidding me? $49.95. It's a 2013 model. It's the newest one of the four there. I can't... How the hell, why the hell is a golf cart worth 
five thousand dollars. I swear you could get them for yeah, you could get them brand new for that kind of price. Shit, five thousand dollars. I'm gonna buy me a dirt bike or something or. ATV. Alright, North Highway 500 Alpha and Old County Highway 441. Leesburg to the left, Mount Dora and Business District to the right. First United Methodist Church of the Bottoms. I can't get over the fact that it, uh, oh shit, looks like I might need to move to the right. Yeah, this lane that I'm in turns into a left turn only lane. Yeah, I can't tell if that's the way I need to go. I don't think that's the way I need to go. I know I need to go straight, I just... No, yeah, I need to go straight ahead. It's like follow US 441 a little bit. Uh, I'll have to signal, see if they'll let me over. Obviously nobody wants to let me over yet. I'm glad I'm signaling and nobody, yeah, yeah, there we go. That car that was behind me jumped out like they were going to block me too, but then they decided to back off and let me over. Now look at that, no right, uh, right turn sign up here. It's pretty sad they have to actually have that. Red arrow in most states means don't do not do the move no matter what. California, if it's a red arrow, uh, if it's a red right turn arrow, it means uh, you don't turn, you're not allowed to turn right on red. Period. Whether or not there's a sign saying it. stands for live action role play. Now, it's especially popular among the, we'll just say the social outcasts of society, it seems. I'm sure there are more normal people who are into it. I mean, I've, I've got my nerd ways too. And that's just kind of nerding it to a different level for me. I. calling me but I I gotta focus on this traffic right now
do right now? What's this no truck sign here? No left turn, local delivery exempt. Okay. Well, I didn't want to go that way anyway. Anticipating me coming over that way. Battery's just trying to stay clear of it. Two stupid assholes would have let me come over. They had an, they were behind me and I had an opportunity to get over, but they didn't want to check up and let me. Idea what to expect here. Thought I was going to have an at grade intersection, not a uh, separated grade intersection. Minutes left by the time I even get there, and then 
assuming it's a drop and hook, I assume it'll take at least half an hour. So I'll be down to pretty much nothing left on my clock by the time I by the time I get out of there if I if it's even ready right away. too many uh, people in the black community who use who take that uh, um, style or I don't know what lifestyle or whatever
porcupine? I couldn't tell what kind of roadkill that was. Not that roadkill's uh, ever fun to look at, but uh, especially when I'm in an area I'm not familiar, uh, familiar with or you know, just not my normal neck of the woods. You, know, it, you can learn a lot about what kind of wildlife is in the area by seeing what kind of roadkill is in the area. with pharmacy over here to the left too so must must be another uh, elderly haven here Let's try 
front staging area over there, but Tannums. Now I'm hoping they'll take my trailer because he said that uh, the Reaper fuel is supposed to be full. It was pretty full when I left the drop yard, but it's like Tannums right now. But it looks like it's down to about seven eighths or so. Maybe I don't know, somewhere in that ballpark. Just from running it, because I didn't know if I was doing a live. We're dropping it up here, so I came here with the with it running. I'm gonna let the yard jockey pull that trailer in first. Um, so it turns out the trailer that he just grabbed out of door three or one, whatever it was, while I was in the middle of checking in, that's actually my uh, the same trailer I'm taking. So basically, the load and the bills are ready. Uh, Simultaneously, while I was in there getting checked in, or over at the guard shack getting checked in. Okay, what's he doing? He's backing into the door, I think. Come on, dude, which. Alright, yeah, I couldn't tell if he was going forward or backward. Kind of looked like he was, uh. To me, it kind of looked like he was getting ready to back into a door. Myself the yard move. Time off my clock. 
and it needs to be over in the southwest corner of the lot. And then the loaded should be right over here by where this, uh, where this Thermal King truck is. And whatever. Not the first two JCC trailers I see over there. They are just coming out. Looks like. Okay, I see it over on the over on the end. Indian River Transport. So they do some dairy product over here. It's, uh, I think I saw orange juice and stuff on my BOL. Oh, well, I go this way, dude. I'll bet we're full over here, so... I'll uh, just put over here in the corner, I guess. As close to the other JCT trainers as I can. Uh, I'll let the tandems come over this way a little bit, and then I come back over to rotate the trailer so it's angling the other way. Oh, wait. Is there... Never mind, there's one right here on the end that's got um, in the row of other JCT traders, so I'll just put it over here. our other trailer. I uh, haven't asked yet where I can shut down. I got 22 minutes left on my 14 hour clock though, so won't be getting very far if, it, if they allow me to uh, do my 10 right here on their lot, I might just go ahead and do that, but if not, I'll have to uh, Get out of here and find somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe they can give me an idea on where to go. Uh, I'm gonna check trucker path. Maybe might get something uh, mentioned on there. Ah. Ah. Ah, I get my dry 
right tires lined up with this trailer and then they're going to now start turning under. Uh, it's a little high. I'm under it, but I don't like the way I'm under it. I don't want to uh, completely couple into the trailer if I can't be completely sure that the fifth wheel is solidly underneath the trailer apron. On top of that, I don't want to put a side, like a front and back side load on the, the landing gear if they're not, uh, if they don't actually come up off the ground. Apparently, I don't need to use my own load locks. Uh, let me get this set up for sliding. Got a light load. I don't even need to waste my time scaling it. Apparently, they have their own special load locks here. I came back here with my own load locks thinking I was going to need to install them. Then I find that thing sitting back there. I had to just set it up and I'm good. All right. I get this thing sealed up, slight tandems, and check out. Oh. Insulation. 
and up at the top is seeing better days. Six nine one three five six. Alright. Yeah, there's only eight pallets in there and you now it's just a couple of double stat double white and then everything else is just one pallet, so it's gonna be a light load. left on my clock. be able to park over here in our lot because uh, the other JCT driver is camping out there. Which way is he going? Make sure I know which direction he's going before I... I think he's going around the building, but I'm not going to make assumptions. Alright, good. Tenants are clear of the rail over there. out good. Um, guard says I can do my 10 right here on the lot, right here in the staging area. So I'm going to come out and uh, park it right next to that other JCT or the Bobtail. I guess he's waiting on his load. And I guess Domino's Pizza delivers and then also got a uh, restroom right over here, this little building I guess right here in the corner uh, along the fence line and there's a convenience store across the street so not bad it's always great when the shippers and receivers have on-site parking that you can do and what is 
this place over here. It's is that Bob's? Bob's something? I'm like, that might work for me. Just gonna send my departure on my arrival. I mean, my departure and loaded information.
Is it Marshall, Florida, or? It's, I want to say there's a, it's the same name as uh, some islands in the Pacific that I remember. If I, if I remember, that's how I was kind of remember it. But it's basically over by Tallahassee. Uh, stopped at the Flying J there for a couple hours for a nap, and then, you know, finished the two, two hour part of my 82, and then uh, worked my way down from there. So, anyway, yeah, I didn't cover too much. Like I said, I don't want to have these videos too excessively long, and I want to focus more on the, the pickup and delivery parts and maybe some backings. But until I get my my new dash cam and you know it's the exterior camera mounted, or you know, actually you want to get home so I can get to it, uh, I'll just have to grin and bear it with uh, what I have available. Okay, uh, I really can't really show much with uh, straight back situations with. Uh, camera it's it's pain to try to keep the phone focused on the right spot as well as uh, um, focus on what I'm what I'm doing with the trailer so all right anyway uh, that's all I have for now it's only a 400 and some odd mile trip from here to Monroe Georgia which is on the northeast side of uh, um, Atlanta or northeast of Atlanta I should say uh, east northeast it's in between I-20 and I-85 basically so if you want to look for it on the map that's where it's at um that's about it uh so i'm gonna be, uh, finish up here grab me a bite to eat and whatever and relax and yeah call today get moving probably in the middle of the night like I, I mean which is when i prefer to drive less traffic so all right well i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching uh don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy watching these videos all right thanks